Josh Duggar's prison was accused of causing mental distress to inmates due to inhumane living conditions in a lawsuit filed in February. Former inmate Joe Dino Peterson claimed federal correctional institution Seekaville in Texas denied prisoners medical attention, served food with bugs in it, and forced them to live near raw sewage. The complaint included a letter that Peterson wrote to a warden in November 2023. I write this letter to formally demand an immediate cessation of all inhumane treatment and actions taken against myself at the Federal Correctional Institution Seagaville, as alleged by denied medical services and food stored next to trash, and under 2,000 call-per-day meals, verbal assaults by staff, vocational program, grievance procedures, secure environment, communication with the outside world 400 minutes a month, free speech, physical health care, mental health care, he said. These are all inhumane conditions under human rights for all humans. The purpose of this letter is to place you on notice and to demand that these actions that undermine human rights and dignity at the facility be halted with immediate effect, Peterson concluded. In a separate email, Peterson claimed he was not given appropriate medical care for the third day in a row and that he needed to be looked at for seizures or some other issues related to brain issues. The warden's secretary responded with information on how to attend sick call and how to obtain psychological services. A third email sent in November said, Can you please stop storing our food and carts next to the trash cans? This is very inhumane. It also alleged Peterson heard an inmate talking about the food trays that had maggots in them. A fourth email included in the lawsuit accused the prison of having raw sewage inside the jail over 24 hours. However, three months later, the case hit a snag. It has come to the court's attention that plaintiff is no longer confined at SCI Seagoville or in the custody of the Bureau of Prisons, BOP, a statement from the court read. However, plaintiff has failed to inform the court of his current address. On February 28, 2024, shortly after the complaint was filed, the court notified plaintiff of the requirement to keep the court informed of any change of address or this case might be dismissed. The case was dismissed on May 16. As Oak previously reported, Duggar was found guilty of receiving and possessing child pornography in December 2021. He arrived at SEI Seagaville on June 27, 2022, where he is expected to serve out the remainder of his 12.5-year prison sentence.